don't do the touchdown dance uh, after masturbation. He's back to the I can actually touch you now without getting a paper cut. Tom, let me know when we're on. We're on now. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Talk Soup. This is the show that makes being a freak not only socially acceptable, but pretty cool. I'm Todd Newton, sitting in for Mr. John Henson. You know, he's been under the weather. Last week, the inventor of the teleprompter died, which means bad news for all of us. At his funeral, his priest was heard saying things like, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, scroll up. <laughs> Coming up, Howie Mandel lusts for Cindy Crawford. Who doesn't? Montel Williams makes a love connection. Plus, you'll witness the sucker punch of the century. More of that mayhem a little bit later on. First up, let's get things started. Day after day, ladies and gentlemen, unsuspecting guest stars are subjected to embarrassing sexual questions on Loveline. Now, personally, I don't know how they do it. I mean, I'd want to burrow underneath the cushions in the couch and look for loose change. But I have to say, actress Kathleen Robertson acquits herself quite nicely in this next highlight. She's one of the lovely stars of Beverly Hills 90210. Yeah. And now, on to the... Uh, <clears throat> Masturbation question. Jackson's on the phone. Hey, how you doing? Good. Look, for Good. the past few years when I masturbate, I like to stand up and spank myself on the butt. Is this that boy? Yes. <laughs> Joke call? I don't know, but it's abnormal. That's what he wants to know. It is? When he... When he... When he masturbates. He spanks himself with his other hand. Uh, he, he's not using his foot. Um. He wants to know if it's not if it's if it's normal, meaning within the the average uh, spectrum of average behavior. No. Uh, How would that even be possible? And, and maybe he doesn't do it out of enjoyment. I've done this before myself when I uh, part but, of your touchdown dance. No, no, that's a different thing. That's after actual sex. Oh, okay. I don't do the touchdown dance uh, after masturbation. Or otherwise, I'd, you know, I'd be, I'd be uh, doing a celebration end zone every night, and the downstairs neighbors would start complaining. No, it's a once in a while thing. And but I'm saying that sometimes the, I did it one time and I was having a little difficulty. It was like you know when someone gets something caught in their throat and they're and you smack them on the back of the head, and a piece of gristle goes flying out across the room. All right, Ed, yeah. thank you. Well, what, are you, what are you coming back to me for? Do, do the promo. I feel uncomfortable here. Spanking himself like that. <laughs> Thursday on Love Line, learn about more kinky sexual practices. The gang will field a few joke calls and occasionally answer a legitimate question. So Dr. Drew can, you know, get all that serious stuff out of the way. The four years Penny was with David were just a living hell. She says her ex-boyfriend teased her about being fat. He pinched her rolls and called her the Pillsbury Dough Girl. But this week, Sally loaned him a heavy soup, and David learned that being fat isn't so funny. As you're about to see, the world is a dark and cruel place for people simulating heft. Even something as ordinary as walking through a doorway is a lot harder when you weigh 300 pounds. Excuse me! Oh, you so gross! Oh, Why don't you lose your weight? David's next stop was a restaurant, so he could eat lunch. He ordered a hamburger, but the woman next to him seems to be thinking he should get the diet plate. So what did David think of life as a fat man? I wouldn't want to be fat, I know that. I feel sorry for people that are, that have to go through life like that. And Penny, I'm sorry. Right, but you're not sorry. You just came out here and said you weren't sorry. Well, she's... I've tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to get her to do something about her weight, and she won't do it. 
and yesterday going through all this. What happens with that? I mean, yeah, what did you get out of that experience? Well, it's, it gave me a little more consciousness of how fat people are, feel, you know. <laughs> it's not fat people or skinny people. It's just people. Well, just people. Now, David's certainly in the wrong here, but what about that lady in the doorway? You're so gross. Why don't you lose some weight? You're fat. I can't even get through. What about you, lady? Maybe you're the gross one. Why don't you get out of the way so he can come through? Yeah. Think about that. Thursday on Sally. She'll update the stories on some of her most outrageous guests. I'm sorry, Tom, that just made me mad. We'll find out if that wild teen changed her wicked ways and if that woman finally had the courage to leave her controlling husband. The main attraction, of course, will be to see who has to wear the fat suit this week. Fat suit, fat suit. Before Ice T was a gangsta rapper, yeah, with oodles of props. He was a break dancer in a goofy little movie called Break It, Electric Boogaloo. The movie's kind of goofy, but the soundtrack still rocks. Yes. <laughs> and even before that, he was a dog-faced grunt in the Army. Well, in this Keenan highlight, we'll learn more about G. Ice-T. You know, it's funny, though. When you go in the military, you think you're going to the Hawaii, right? But really, they put you in these mountain, this mountain range called the Kahukas. And it's nothing... You don't realize you're in Hawaii. You think you're in hell. <laughs> so. I did four years walking up and down mountains carrying um, big uh, machine guns and, you know, jumping out of helicopters and now, planes. Now, with, with your persona, how do you, how, what kind of, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just picturing I, somebody yelling at Ice-T. I just, I, I can't see it. They, they could kind of yell at you because they own you. It's like when you go off into the military, they break down the hardest catch, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It was funny, though, because when, when I first was in basic and I went into the gas chamber, I, like, squinted my eyes and held my breath and I was the only person that didn't come out coughing and the drill sergeant's like, yeah, yeah, you know, that's the same stuff they throw at you on the block. That's why it ain't bothering you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it was cool. Plus, I already knew how to, when I got there, I knew how to break down an M16 and a 45. So. <laughs> In addition to breaking Electric Boogaloo, Ice has appeared in films Surviving the Game and New Jack City. But I know we'll all remember him best as Cardboard Kippy, the young boy who broke dance his way into America's hearts. Went broke dance. Is that a word? Or do go, we... Kippy, go, go, Kippy, go, go, Kippy. Go, Kippy. Go, Kippy. Go. Thursday, Keenan gets a little frisky with MTV personality Carmen Electra. Go Carmen. Go, go Carmen. Go Carmen. Go Carmen. The Kippy former singled out Carmen. hostess is yeah, leaving baby. the lusty go teens baby. and headed for Baywatch. <laughs> Watch you sit tight there, fellow breakers. We've got lots more on the way. Coming up, flying in fists of fury on the Springer Show. Plus, Cindy Crawford goes mad for Mandel. Howie Mandel. But first, meet the Beatle. We'll dissect a major movie villain and its heart. Right here. This is the heart? Right. Wow, this is what they use in the movie? Yes. Hey, what is that? What's what? Oh, what? geez, what is that? <laughs> Tonight on the E! Nightly Special, get ready for the best hour of entertainment on television. First, it was the south of France, but now E's hit the big city, and all we can say is ooh la la. Watch a shop till we drop. Love these shoes. Then party the night away as he discovers the city of lights with sex on the Champs Elysees. So give us an hour and we'll give you much more than entertainment. He's nightly special tonight at 8 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. A lender's bagel is like a perfect day. Warm and comforting at the beginning. A little variety in the middle. Totally relaxing at the end. And completely fulfilling all around. Lenders Bagels. The perfect circle. What do a car, a tree, and an elephant have in common? Trunks. It's Tribon, the hilarious new game that asks you to find the common bond among three things. It's fast-paced fun times three. Tribon and Tribon for kids. Still paying too much for car insurance? 
GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more. At GEICO, we settle claims quickly so you can get your car back because no one likes to bum a ride to work. <laughs> GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. A truly luscious dip begins with Hidden Valley Dip Mix. Simply fold into fresh sour cream, add savory cheddar and crisp bacon. Hey, honey, the game's starting. Hidden Valley Dips. Homemade. Made easy. Now, during Sears Portrait Studios Holiday Sale, bring home the smiles. Choose the portraits you want and the sizes you need most for only $6 a sheet. They're guaranteed to be your best holiday portraits ever because Sears Portrait Preview System lets you see and approve your portraits instantly. Plus, take home Sears exclusive color proof of your favorite poses free. Now, get the portraits you want for only $6 a sheet during Sears Portrait Studios Holiday Sale. Hurry in. It's a new twist on an absent-minded tale. Get an inside look at all that's goofy and gooey as E goes behind the scenes of Flubber, Saturday at 6, only on E. Welcome back to Talk Soup, ladies and gentlemen. The perfect show to watch if you're just hanging out in your rumpus room. I'm Todd Newton, filling in for John Henson. He's sick. Y'all may go ahead and commit rumpus. Time now for an anatomy lesson from the year 2025. Now, in those dark days, Aaron Spelling will be a demigod, and young men will be drafted to do battle with alien bug creatures. To prepare for the grisly skirmishes, Archillian sand beetles will be dissected in basic biology classes. It's a gross anatomy lesson that goes something like this tonight's show highlight. Here's Jay and Starship Trooper star Dina Meyer. Wow, that looks pretty real. This is one of the, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, here, go ahead. Um, this is one of the smaller bugs yeah. in the movie. The, the ones in the movie are, are much bigger. This is one that we dissected in school, and I was thinking maybe we could dissect it here. Dissect? Oh, look at Oh, oh man. Look at this. <laughs> now, we've got some of these. Can you help me find the fish? Uh, you do that well. That's somewhere. And oh, see, this is the heart right here. This is the heart? Right. Wow, this is what they see? use in the movie? Yes. Hey, what is that? What's what? Oh, geez, what is that? <laughs> Wait a second. Jay, you looking for this earlier? Oh, there's my belt. <laughs> my car keys in there, by any chance? <laughs> I lost them, and they're nowhere to be found. Starship Troopers is in theaters now. I understand it's a great film. Really? Yeah, watch this. In every day, there is a cause worth fighting for. Uh-oh. <laughs> Madison Square Garden driver and step on it. Why'd you take the tunnel, man? We're gonna end up in New Jersey. God, I hate Newark. <laughs> Cheese. What? Come on, take the picture. What the hell do those bugs eat? Eat rain! Ah! Waiter, there's a bug in my soup. Thursday on The Tonight Show, Jay welcomes new age pianist Yanni. He'll perform some of his catchier tunes and complain about people who always spell his name with a W. In the following highlight, we'll meet Sherry Konopsky. She's a former Playboy playmate who was paralyzed in a car accident. Now, if that weren't trying enough, Sherry suffered abuse by her husband while recuperating in the hospital. Here she is telling Lisa Gibbons the unseemly details. Did he know that you were paralyzed? He didn't care. He was, uh, I was laying in surgery the day after, seven hours of back surgery, um, the day after my car wreck, and he was trying to convince my father um, that, well, if we have three signatures from immediate family members, we can um, force her into a nursing home. Wow. And he's still trying to do it. He, and he took me to court twice, trying to get the judge to co order me to an adult care facility, and I have the documentation on it. And, and not only that, but thinking of his 
needs, his sexual needs, while you were in the hospital. Our, our anniversary was April 8th, and um, he had the audacity to come in with this pitiful little pot of flowers. And his only concern was, well, what do I do with this uh, catheter? Because he was going to mount me and satisfy himself. Oh. And I had to get the nurses to come in, and the nurse told him, she has two broken vertebrae, crushed ribs. She just had major surgery. You are not going to do anything to her out. I mean, that's the only thing he... D and I'm telling him, what are you trying to do? Are you out of your mind? Can you imagine? He what? said, it's our anniversary. You owe me. Oh! Divorce attorney Michael Kelly called this pattern of abuse the beautiful woman syndrome, meaning beautiful women tend to attract dysfunctional people who think if they have a relationship with these women, they'll receive the attention they never got. Thursday, Lisa takes another look at the dark side of being beautiful. This time, she'll investigate scams associated with the modeling industry. What, I have to do what for my portfolio? Still to come on this organically grown edition of Talk Soup, Jerry Springer hosts the Foxy Boxing Championship. And this time, Tom, they're not going to charge us a big cover charge. Yeah. Actually, former guests will square off, but what's the difference, right? And it's all the same. Boxing's boxing. And straight ahead, it's reunion time for a divorcee and the man who first tugged her heartstrings. Get your hearts warmed. Want the newest and coolest in home entertainment viewing? Just watch Coming Attractions this week, and you could win Sony DVD on E! You'll be blown away by the digital picture and sound quality that Sony DVD has to offer. Our 20 grand prize winners will walk away with the new Sony DVP S3000 player. Plus, each winner will receive a movie library that includes 16 of the latest DVD titles. So watch Coming Attractions Monday at 7.30 Eastern Pacific and all this week to find out how to enter or look for this ad in the November issue of Premiere. Be a winner only on E! Welcome to E's Wild Kingdom of Beauty. We'll track the species known as Modella superioris, or the supermodel. Notice their exotic plumage. Observe the mating rituals at the watering hole. Long limbs and beautiful faces are also an exclusive trait of this breed, although they've been known to camouflage themselves. While their feeding habits are restrained, they're sometimes the victim of predators. Supermodels Untamed, this Sunday at 9 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. in the nicest smelling bathroom in the neighborhood. Since I put vanish hangings in, I actually haven't gone back to clean it. I haven't seen any stains. The dispenser is the key item. It's easy to maintain. That's what it is. It's easy to maintain. Drop the tablet into the dispenser, hang it on your tank, and just flush. The vanish hangings repels the stains. There's no ring. Vanish hangings repels stains and leaves your bowl sanitary. S.C. Johnson Wax. If anybody doesn't believe me, ring my doorbell and you can smell my toilet. From a riot in Rio to mayhem in Miami, it's a trio of tantalizing tours. This Sunday, beginning at 6 Eastern and Pacific. Aboard! The Comcast holiday train is pulling in the station and your child could be on it. It's easy. Just send us a non-returnable photo of your child, an index card with the parent's name, address, phone number, child's name, and age, along with a check or money order for $10 to Comcast Television Advertising. Care of Holiday Train, Green Tree Commons, Suite 8004C, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And we'll put your child's picture on the Comcast holiday train, airing on TV 18 from November 24th to December 28th. Happy Holidays from Comcast. Another day of I'm soaked. My shoes are wet. My socks are wet. I hate the rain. Well, maybe the rain hates you. Yeah, you tell him, Jer. Who, me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Maybe the rain hates you. How can we appreciate the sun if we don't have the rain? It irrigates crops! Well, look, I think Teach you just better leave, all right? I love the rain! Not worth it, Jerry. Welcome back to Talk Soup. I'm Todd Newton, sitting in for the ailing John Henson. <coughs> Feel better, John. Well, you know, I think I speak on behalf of all of us when I say we've enjoyed Howie Mandel's antics on the talk shows for years now. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's great on there. 
Well, now comes word that the funny man will be hosting his own daytime gab fest. Mm -hmm. He says it'll be different from all the other shows because, you know, he's Howie and nobody does Howie quite like Howie. <laughs> Up next, Mr. Mandel gives us a taste of his interviewing style as he grills later host Cindy Crawford. There's many things that are beautiful about you. It's amazing to, to not to, to, to see you without, like, uh, without uh, staples someplace on the page. I knew I wasn't going to have to do anything this show. I just have to sit here and, like... I've never seen you just, in, just right here without the rest of the... I actually have staples. I had some staples implanted just so it looked... Why? Great, so people knew it was me. <laughs> but I can actually... I can actually touch you now without getting a paper cut. And that's what... <laughs> You don't have the laminated version, do you? Pardon me? You don't have the laminated version, you? Do have you? laminated. you? have laminated deals of yourself? I found it safer. I... To laminate? Cause... You know, oh, that's like, safe sex like, like a thing. condom thing. <laughs> you do that? You have to do that with pictures? Too. Oh, I get it. I get it. This is on. It's late night. It's, it's late it's night. it's recyclable, though. <laughs> I, I really, never thought I of that about being a model. And you think about that, all the uh, uh, things yeah, that people are doing I get with your pictures. from guys like in prison, and you know what they're doing with the pictures. No, I, I don't have any idea. What are they doing with the pictures? Oh, get out! <laughs> with that. <laughs> it's just disgusting. I felt that. <laughs> I can't do that with a picture anyway. Thursday on Later, more Cindy Crawford, baby. It's Cindy Mania all week on the Late Night Talk Show. Cindy, 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 yes! There'll also be a celebrity guest, but, you know, of course, Cindy. Toddy likes him some Cindy. Well, 19-year-old Aretha has always wanted her mom, Darlene, to get remarried. So she called up Montel Williams and asked him to reunite her with her first love, Miles. Now, apparently, they dated when they were, you know, teenagers. Then he went away to join the military with iced tea and they just lost touch they made them <laughs> well that was 23 years ago there's not much more to say except put your tear ducts on standby oh yes ma'am you have questions to yeah. are you still in love with him you have um, it him? also depends on if he's married <laughs> but if, if miles was single and you know was available and wasn't you know with anybody else and you you happen to Run into him somewhere. I'm going to choke you. What, what, would, <laughs> what would you say if you ran into him? What would I say to him? Yes. And if he was single and still buff, uh... I'd go, oh. You, uh, what's up? I'd go, oh, no. Would you really? Well, do me a favor. Why don't you just go, oh, no? <laughs> Look at Montel making a love connection there. It's like Chuck Woolery. Minus the Woolery, of course. I wonder if any of my ex-girlfriends ever think about me. Probably not. not. Thursday on Montel, brace yourselves, friends, for the mind-shattering predictions of psychic Sylvia Brown. She'll answer questions from guests who say they're haunted by spooks. Coming up after the break, it's our Soup of the Day. For those of you who couldn't afford the Holyfield pay-per-view fight, no fear. We got something to soothe your souls, and it doesn't cost a penny. I swear. East of the Andes, south of the equator. This is a wonderful place. And just this side of crazy. Everybody's almost naked. This Sunday at 8, ride the rapids and bask on the beach. It's the premiere of Wild on the Amazon. But first at 6, watch the City of Lights become the City of Delights. It's sex on the Champs-Elysees. Then at 7, party with the pretty people. It's sex on South Beach. It's a trio of tantalizing tours. This Sunday, beginning at 6 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. There was a time when it was perfect. You can have this taste again. Britta. Tap water transformed. Big kid. Pull 
Club's training pants now have Mickey Mouse on them. Just like big kid underwear. Kids will want to wear them. Mommy, wow. I'm a big kid now. What do a Christmas stocking, a basketball, and a turkey have in common? They're all stuff. It's Tri-Bond, the hilarious new game that asks you to find the common bond among three things. It's fast-paced fun times three. Tri-Bond and Tri-Bond for kids. I always knew it was a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Fortunately, she was dressed for the occasion. Lee riveted flares, the new look of Lee. Hey! Just what I need. Sorry. Jeez. Got you really good, too. Here, take it. No, I, I couldn't. And what are you, 34 ways? Yeah. You got your cover. Wait, wait, what do you think that's refreshing? <laughs> Try this. The crisp, clear, lemon-lime taste of 7-Up. It's perfect holiday refreshment. Take your car. I insist. Really? It is a wonderful life. Oh, while you're out, stop by the dry cleaners, pick up some videos and a pizza, and don't forget to take bath packs. <laughs> Back. Why, sure, honey, I've got it right here. Hey, gang, I'm Jake Steinfeld, and you're watching E. E. Actually, there's an E in my name. E. Bless you. John's fairly sick. Everybody's sick. Welcome back to the swirling vortex of dysfunction. We like to call it talk soup. You want this? I'm Todd Newton. Sing, uh, Todd Newton sitting in for John Henson. Just taking care of my boys. You ever sit at home and see a Jerry Springer guest mouth off and say to yourself, you know what, I'd like to tell that little so-and-so right off. Yeah. Well, recently, Miranda had that feeling about a woman named Mary. See, Mary was a Springer show guest boasting about her flings with married men. Well, her wanton behavior really irked Miranda, prompting this character assassination. What was it that you didn't like about Mary? Well, first off, she came on national television admitting to be a home-wrecking whore. Then, she can't even get her own man. She settles for sloppy seconds. She's, she's just a whore. She got on here talking about how she... Um, she sleeps with married men. Yes, and is proud of it. Yeah, I think she's a poor excuse for a woman. She's pathetic. <laughs> Well, on that lovely introduction, here's Mary. Now, not surprisingly, Miranda was on a previous Springer show entitled, Guess Who Liked to Get the First Punch In, right? Yeah. You guys want to see it one more time? Yeah, yeah, give me some more. In slow motion, if you will. Oh, Bam! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. The connection! The head jerk's the best part. Thursday on Jerry, wives will confront the other woman, and conversely, guys will confront the men who fooled around with their wives. It's adultery and fisticuffs Thursday on Jerry. Now, tomorrow on Talk Soup, they're cousins. Distant cousins. Oh, yeah, get to oh my senseless violence. When will it all end? Hopefully never. And friends, that wraps up this edition of Talk Soup. This is Todd Newton saying, be good to yourselves. Have a good one. <laughs>